Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of Strange Terrain, which is the Knocker Strike. I'm running a power handicap of 60. I'm running Arc Singe. I'm running Heavyweight, Momentum, and uh, Match Game. Uh, for weapons, we're doing uh, Midnight Coop. I'm using Distant Relation, which is the Gambit Scout Rifle. It's a solar scout rifle, and there's obviously there's a few solar knights. We're running Thunderlord. I've got the, the exotic chest plate for the, the Raid and Flux for the Hunter because we're running Arc Strider. Bottom tree of the subclass because you sprint faster and you get a, your abilities back faster when you sprint. Now the key word for this, for doing the high score run here is manage your heavy ammo. Because there will be, and you see it in the, you'll see it in the run, there are times where I don't drop any heavy. So I kind of have to bait some ads, bait the boss to, to spawn ads because I've no heavy. And it's not because I'm overusing it. It's because you kind of have to use it. But I felt as if the last two runs I'd done of this, because I'd done a few runs, and I beat it, you know, every time I'd done it, I was just wanting faster and more efficient runs. And I felt like the last couple of times I'd done it, I just wasn't getting the heavy ammo. So be careful have at least to attack the next section you want to at least have at least one full full clip which is 60 rounds 62 rounds i think ideally you want two so that's kind of the way you're going to play this now the the thunderlord's ability the thunderlord's ability which is <clears throat> where it kind of causes like almost like the warlock's storm grenade that does massive damage so you know sometimes sometimes it will and, and it will take the ads out for you that and heavy ammo kills as you've seen there then that's just like insane the amount of ads that lightning that lightning uh grenade kill now if you kill or constantly are killing ads with your heavy you won't spawn a lot of heavy ammo because you don't really get heavy ammo very much for for heavy kills. But for that lightning effect, if you kill ads with that, that can drop heavy ammo. So the first thing you want to do with this, as I've said, um, conserve your ammo. As you've seen, I came here that I, I was I was very fortunate. I went for the I went for the night first because I figured the explosion might do might do something as you can see there there's perfect example the lightning killed the knight and and the, he dropped heavy ammo now there is a second thing and you've seen it you've seen it here this is this is what taster you will, there will be multiple knights that will spawn now it never used to be quite as bad as it is now but now it's pretty pretty bad uh it's not the first time i've just had a conveyor belt of knights coming out of a spawn point so be careful don't think because you've killed the two knights that are there or whatever that you you're just you, you know you're safe because they will just keep spawning so let's summarize where we are now i've ran past the whole of the first area till i get to the first area with the knights that drop the orbs i took the first knight pretty quickly because chained lightning effect all that will damage at least damage but probably kill quite a lot of the ads we get get those done get get the orbs in and then we come to the the section we've just passed kill all those ads but the, the shielded knights they're what you want to use the thunder lord on and now we're at this part now what we're going to do we see we've got 156 heavy because i like to be it's always better safe than sorry what i'm going to do is take these two knights down quite low but not kill them with the thunder lord and finish them with the primary to see if we get any heavy ammo this time i didn't i do normally get some from here so it's all good we've killed the two knights we're doing good for score twenty-seven thousand. we're three minutes in just under four minutes in so this but this is where we, we distant relation comes in so we'll take all these knights down and then we're going to dodge reload and switch straight to distant relation so we can we don't really want to be wasting ammo now the thunder lord would have took her shield down believe it or not and uh, then wiped her but we do not want to waste any ammo because the game is quite stingy with that ammo 
So we've we've got 40 odd shots. There's a lot of ads here that we can kill. So and I think if my memory serves me correct, I do not drop heavy ammo until I've killed the last two thrall. Not none of these drop it. It's the thrall. That could, my my memory might not serve me so well. I'm I am an old man. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not quite an old man, but <clears throat> it, it, I'm pretty sure that I don't drop a lot of heavy ammo here. And out of the four runs I done, two of them I dropped a fair amount of heavy ammo here, and two of them I dropped next to no heavy ammo here. So it really is. Would it be destiny if it wasn't RNG based? It just wouldn't be destiny, right? Just, just I. See, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do a, a it's, I, I don't normally do stuff like this, but ju just as a talking point, how many, how many exotic pieces of armor have you guys had from Forsaken, Forsaken pieces, now it could be on your main character, it could be across all characters, I'm just interested to see, is it just me that is the unluckiest person with exotic armor, or, or is it, <laughs> is it, is it a, quite a common thing, so, just in the comments, if you know a few of you guys leave me nice comments, uh, just at the end, just tell me how many pieces of exotic armor you've had. Uh, I've had two, and both on the warlock, which was the last character I started, and isn't even six hundred yet. I haven't had anything on the titan or anything on the hunter. Ridiculous, but I mean, we did moan that it was too easy to get all this stuff in Destiny Year One, so. Um, I suppose I am happier that there's still a grind. Anyway, so you've killed all the thrall. You've got your heavy ammo. You want the heavy ammo for the two shield knights in here. You'll use that. Now we're on to the two trickiest parts. And I think the ogre might actually be slightly trickier than the boss section overall. But the third wave of the boss is pretty difficult. When you drop in here. Regardless of what you've got, whether it's the Shrieker or the Ogre, you're going to have this wizard. Now, I don't actually finish the wizard right here. But, the, it's not that it's not worth killing the wizard. But it's not an elite. Now, I found it very strange because I've, I've done a few of these. And I've killed a few of those wanted. And they normally give you elite scores, but the wizard gives you just an ordinary wizard score. 700 points for killing that wizard. Not worth it in my, in my mind. Not worth it at all. So, what I do is, I take out the first knight. I take him out as soon as he comes out. In the area he comes out in. And then I come round here and I take the second knight from here. So I decided she was probably just going to follow me if I didn't kill her. I like attacking the second wizard from here because I know I'm shielded from the ogre. So we take we take the second knight the second was a knight from here, and there you go, just like what I was saying. There, there there's another knight out. <laughs> right, so we've done that. It's ogres. Uh, sorry, it's shriekers. So we'll take this the second shrieker from here, and we're we're in position now. Got our super. We're going to attack all the adds and the two knights with our super, and it's just it'll just conserve our heavy. And it's, it's a quick way to take the ads out. So they're down. As soon as they're down, I'll pick up the first orb and throw it. And then I'll grab the second orb and I'll go to where I'm going to attack the knight. Now, you might have... I don't, I, don't think I, I don't think I said it. I think I've got heavy ammo around here. I don't think I said I, I don't have triple jump on. I've got the single uh, jump for more control. Simply because we've got momentum on. So if you, when you've got momentum on, the idea is to get the forward momentum. You want to be going forward as fast as possible. And I, I find that middle jump, uh, you jump forward faster. And it really helps you proc momentum. So we've got, what, about 120-odd rounds. I'm just checking for heavy ammo because, you you know... The last thing you need, the last thing you need is to be going into this boss section without enough heavy ammo. And it turns out, I the reason I came all the way back here is because I knew I had a brick. I thought I'd missed it. I didn't think I picked it up. But I did. So now we're on to the boss. So the boss strategy, 
you break the boss fight up into three. You break it up into three sections. The first section, Nocris won't move. Second section, Nocris won't move, but he will fire at you. Third section, Nocris will just wander about the map, firing at you, chasing you down. Wave three is the hardest. So I have two points. I've got this rock that I'm standing at now that's on my right behind me. And then I've got the rock just to the just at the back, just to the left of where we're looking now. They are my two safe zones for the third wave. So when we're attacking Nocris, when at all possible, when heavy ammo allows it, this is where we'll attack from. The reason why we attack from here is because you stun Nocris and he doesn't send you out waves of ads. Now, for score, waves of ads could be good. There is a time where I'm not going to have heavy ammo, so I'm going to have to let the ads come out. But, I mean, we've got 91,000. <clears> we've got eight minutes to score. We're, we don't, we're not worried, you know. We, we, it doesn't matter if we don't get, you know, tons of ads here. The thrall and the, you know, minimum of six knights, acolytes, wizards. We've got enough to get the score. So, it's no problem. Our biggest thing right now is heavy ammo. And, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous with all the ads that you've got here that you don't drop more heavy ammo. I think these acolytes drop me some. And I noticed that the acolytes are more likely to drop you than, than, the, than the thrall. And we, we need some heavy ammo. That's, that is the imperative. Because the, wizard, the, the, the knights eat up the heavy. As you would expect. I mean, why wouldn't they? Now, normally I would save my super. Normally I would save it. But because he pushed and I wasn't dropping heavy, I just used it so I could take him and, you know, the majority of these these acolytes. Yeah, look at that for hit, hit, hit detection. Jesus. Uh... Normally, I, I would just take them out with heavy because normally I would have more than enough heavy to do that. But I didn't this time, so super come in really handy there. And no heavy. And I just don't see why I'm, why you wouldn't drop heavy when you have a perk on your helmet that finds heavy. And, and not only that, I mean, this was the... Yeah, this was the thing. So I tried to kill this knight by meleeing because I didn't want him wandering about shooting me while I was trying to deal damage to the boss. And it turned out I had to use heavy to kill him. So I've got 23 rounds, which I will put into Norcris, but it's not enough. I've got none. I knew I couldn't I knew I couldn't get up there. I shouldn't have went up here to attack him. I tried to kill these ads to see if they dropped me any. Eventually I had to leave. And it turned out it wasn't too bad because I got my health back and then I think some of the ads I killed give me heavy ammo. Like I got one brick here from an acolyte. Now, normally, because it is the way I am, I would have redone this run totally. But I figured, well, I don't want people having a look at my run and maybe it doesn't didn't, didn't work for them the same way. Or it worked for them the same way that they weren't getting heavy ammo and thinking, oh, he never had this problem. That's why I've left it in. So we've got twenty-four rounds. We're back. We're back to the same. We're back to the same uh, predicament. Now this wizard. It's worthwhile taking this wizard, wizard out as soon as you can. Now I'll explain about the wizards. The, when the wizards come out, so as you see, it's not. It's not really difficult to take the wizards down. But as long as the wizards are up, you, you won't spawn the knights. So it's worth. It's worthwhile, if you can get any cover away from Norcris, because now we're in the second wave, we're going to be dealing with uh, Norcris firing at us. There we go, we've got some heavy. If you, and we've got more. So we are, we're pretty good now. You can take out all the thrall, knowing that you're not going to get pushed by, by, by any knights. You can take out all the thrall, and now... You can take, make sure you, you know, you're reloaded with everything. Take out the second wizard, and you know then you, that's that's the cure that you're going to get your knights then. So use the solar scout to take down the the shield. You could, you you know, I took I took it with the thunder lord. 
you you could you could finish up without the Thunder Lord. And make always always make sure you reload. The amount of times I've been caught uh the amount of times I've been caught pulling out my, my heavy and uh I haven't reloaded. <laughs> it's the worst. And another thing, if you're gonna be attacking the boss, try not to dodge reload. Save your dodge reload if you can get in more shots at the boss. So we're in in position and we're just gonna melt Nocris, and as you can see, with melting him, he won't call ads. He's taking that much damage, getting stunned. It's all good. Now, this is the difficult section. So, we don't have a lot of heavy. We're going to need heavy. But I am confident that we're going to get heavy. What? that That's just insane. That killed all those thrall before they'd even come out. Now, when... What's going to happen is, that's why we save our super, because we're going to use our super in this part to take out the the knights. We've got our brick of heavy. You aren't actually, if I'm being honest, at this part, you're not actually going to need a lot of heavy to, to put Nocris down. A clip would do it. And, obviously, you're not going to need heavy for, you're not going to need heavy for the knights, because you're going to use, you're going to use your... Uh, super, and what's so we're we're going for this brick now. I I I I don't get to actually reload. This is like I try about three times to reload and just can't get it. So there's the first. Take out the acolytes because you can, just simply because you can. Don't they they can do a lot more damage than you give them credit for. To be fair, because the, the, obviously it's a ranged attack. So there's another knight up. Why am I not surprised? Norcross will come round. We've we've we're leading Norcross from side to side, and it gives us time to to grab what we need to grab. And uh, as you can see, I still can't get that reload. And the knight is following us pretty hard, and this is probably the worst throw ever. And I try and reload again here. I still don't get the reload, so I think what I do here is I jump over, throw this, dodge reload. And then, as you can see, 60 shots, not needed. And that's the rim. So in this final section, keep moving from rock to rock. Uh, don't get caught out in the open. Make sure your, your Thunderlord is reloaded. And basically a clip per damage phase is good enough for Nocris. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this helps you get triumphs, high scores, powerful rewards, whatever it is that you need to do. And I appreciate, as always, I always appreciate you guys. I appreciate you viewing and commenting and liking and all the rest of it. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.